American Melody, the song of the train on the tracks. And for dyed-in-the-wool train buffs, just hanging around the Fort Bragg train station is enough to set the senses quivering. The Mercado steam locomotive that pulls the skunk train through the rugged Mendocino lumberlands is the epitome of what a train should be. The furnace is stoked, the passengers are boarded, and the skunk train sets off with a classic I think I can, I think I can rhythm of the rails. line is operated by the California Western Railroad. Since 1885, trains have wended their way through the mountains of Mendocino, from Fort Bragg to Willits, loaded with lumber to build the cities of the West. And lumber there is, tall, straight redwoods climbing from the coast to the mountains. Once, there were 115 bridges along the winding track. Today, there are 31. And as the ties fly by, the conductor sets the stage for the trip through the first tunnel. Tunnel number one which is three and a half miles out of Fort Bragg, was started being dug in 1889, was completed in 1893. It was all dug by Chinese labor. It was all dug by pick and shovel and wheelbarrow. They never used any explosives on the tunnel number one when they dug tunnel number one. days the steam train makes the trip for pleasure alone, but the real skunks were workhorses. In 1925 we got the first rail car. It was made by the Mack Truck Company. It was built for rail service. It had a gasoline engine in it and a pop belly wood stove. And the people along the river at that time, and all the crew said from the odors from, this, from the motor car that they could smell it before they could see it. So it says 1925, this is what it's called the skunk train. Today, you can't smell them coming, but from any stop along the winding route, you can feel the steady pulse of the train coming down the tracks. a journey along a 40-mile route that no other means of locomotion can manage. The steam train takes the stretch from Fort Bragg to North Spur, the halfway point of the trip, and a diesel engine pulls an open observation car to the 1,700-foot summit along the stretch from North Spur to Willits. The full-day trip is an all-day outing, but the scenery is absolutely spectacular. Once there were 13 steam engines making the trek through Mendocino County. Today, there are only two. But the American melody sounds a very special rhythm to those whose pulses quicken at the sound of a train whistle. And whose doesn't? Carol Kendrick, News 8, Mendocino.